guys welcome to the channel IT simplified in today's video I'll show you how to create a traffic manager profile from your Azure portal so let's get started from more services just do a quick type of traffic manager and uh, click on the traffic manager profile Now, important thing to note over here is that uh, Traffic Manager works on the DNS. So, you need to give a proper uh, a Traffic Manager name. So, in this case, I'm going to give Gudwish Demo Traffic Manager. Make sure that it is accepted with a green check mark. So, that's good. And then, under the routing method, you have a four option. You have performance, you have weighted, priority, and geographic. Now, starting with performance, what does that mean is... Uh, it will route the traffic based on the uh, closest uh, uh, endpoint. So, if a user is trying to access the application, it will route the traffic to the nearest uh, endpoint. So, if I'm in Canada and my server is, uh, it's going to hit the server which is closest to my location. Uh, when it comes to weighted, it will equally divide. So, it is basically based on uh, uh, round robin so one request will go to one server and the other one will go to the second server uh, when it comes to priority it is based on basically a sort of load balancing so in case the one server goes down uh, the traffic will be routed to the second one and the geographic option is uh, uh, depending upon from where the DNS query is coming from so if you have a multiple server in multiple regions so you can route it based on uh, from uh, which region you want to give the user the access uh, to get those services. So in this case, what I'll do is I'll select performance, but uh, you have all these four options and can depend upon uh, uh, various needs. So just to, uh, just to keep these things in mind. In my case, I'll select performance. My subscription is pay as you go. And the resource group, I think I already have one. So I'll use demo AS uh, to put this in the resource group and uh, because it works at the DNS level so you don't have the option of a resource group location that's another thing to keep in mind and you click on the create button so it is validating and uh, the deployment is in progress if I expand the notification tab you can see that the deployment was successful so let me close this and if I hit the refresh button I should be able to see my uh, uh, traffic manager. Here we go. So the traffic manager is up and running. With this, it brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.